Yeah, Hi, everybody. Mind. It's time for another episode of Keith and Perry Out of the Wilderness. Yep, this is Keith. As usual, I'm still Perry, chauffeur for the day. So, uh, <laughs> How y'all doing? We hope that you are doing well. Or actually, I don't want to throw the word hope around lightly because Christ died on the cross to give us hope. To give us hope. So yeah. what, how about I say, I trust you are all doing well. Yes, um, and I agree with that. I yeah. stand beside, we do trust you're all doing well. Yeah, and, and, I'm, we were, and I'm trying not to throw hope around like it's nothing anymore because hope is huge. It is. Especially in this time of year yeah. with the birth of Christ coming up. And Well, we were just discussing that just a, actually just a very few minutes ago that this is the time of the year uh, everybody needs a little hope. Hope. Yeah. It's called a hand up. Yeah. Not a hand out, right. but a hand up. Uh, again, it doesn't really matter, doesn't matter to us. Uh, where you are in your spiritual walks or not, we don't care about that. That's between you and, and Christ. That we're equal but, opportunity lovers. We love you all oh, equally. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, this is a tough time of the year, Keith. Man, oh, it is for uh, everybody. Commercialized stuff. Yeah. Uh, is that they're still beating, beating the, the greed drum, yeah. you know, over and over. And yet they have us locked down. Right. Um, you know, right. and... Only God knows when this is going to pass, mm -hmm. or um, my viewpoint is just, I, I think this is just a, a plat, one more platform leading up to things down the road. That are coming. In the future, right. that are coming. And so, <clears throat> but, man, we hope you are. And we will use the word this time, we hope. hope Yes, you are God. filled with hope, filled with and, hope doing well. and doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Because so. it's it's important to us. How you're doing is important to us. And those of you who have families, um, you know, kids especially, need to know that you put your arm, keep this kind of in the physical realm, you keep your arm around them all the time because you are their hope. That's right. You are their God, it is You're your position to treat them. You no, know, God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Father, you know, Mother, five. and then it Children. goes down Correct. five, five generations. Correct. Yep. So, the man is the head of the household. Yeah. Christ is the head of the church, and God is the head of everything. And we, as <clears throat> men, being head of household, that's not just go to work every day, come home, crack a beer, no, yell at the woman. Not there. even close. Uh, throw some grub on the table and pop up in front of the TV set. Yeah, that's, that's not right. There's so much more to it than even I knew, you know, as a young young man and young husband and young father, there was so much that I didn't do that I feel like I failed my children and my wife. And that really sucks the hope out of you, you know. It, it um, pastor of the church I go to, his sermon today, very, very good word, but the sermon was based around forgiving yourself. Hey, amen. So if yeah. you did screw up in the past, God has or Christ has thrown your sins as far as the east is to the west to give you hope. That's right. Lame in terms, he threw them under the bus. That's right. And if he forgives you, then who are you to place yourself above him and not forgive uh, yourself? Excellent word, because that's exactly what we do. Yeah. We're already forgiven. That's and, right. And, uh, wow, I, you know, that just... And if, if we're already I'm forgiven, forgiven, oh yeah, and if we're already all forgiven for what we've done in the past, then why do we think on it? Why do we still live it? Well, we that's, that's... We, we should learn from it, the, absolutely, but absolutely. don't dwell. Don't dwell on it. Yeah. That's the uh, demonic spirits that right. are right outside here, just whispering, right, whispering, whispering in here, whispering. oh, you're not any good because yeah. you were beat when you were a child. Yeah. Uh, or you did all these drugs did. and you were horrible. So, oh. But you're not that child today. No. You're not being beat. That's right. Except That's you right. beat yourself. We have been, you know, Ephesians... Was it chapter two? And I, I have to apologize because a long time ago I gave the wrong verse, but it's Ephesians chapter two tells you exactly who and what you are in God's world. You are everything in God's world. He loves you so much. Yeah. You're chosen. 
You're forgiven. You're yeah. redeemed. Yeah. And that redeemed, that's important. It I mean, is. redeemed means that we don't have to worry about our past anymore. No, we've we don't been, have to dredge it up. We've been removed from that yeah. redeemed. We've been pulled out, set aside. All that river water junk is just keeps right on that's going. Right. We've, that's been right. put, we've been put up on the shore. Yeah. yeah. So, so not only should we forgive ourselves for our past, we shouldn't judge other people on their past. Well, see, that's again, that's very important because I find when I can't forgive me, I have trouble forgiving someone else. That's exactly right. Because I only can beat myself over things that I know that I did that were horrible. Right. I don't know mm -hmm. where they've been or how horrible. And then what happens when you get that? You get full of bitterness. Bitterness. And then you think they're just crybabies. That's and, right. And uh, bitterness, and, and, bitterness um, leads to suffering, and suffering leads to anger, and yeah. anger leads to hatred, and hatred is definitely the dark side. Yeah. As it, to coin a phrase from Star Wars, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, we always want to encourage about that, because we hope that, that we... Uh, I get tongue-tied a little bit once in a while, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, but our goal is to help lift each and every one of you uh, on a daily basis. If something down the road you think about, go, oh, those crazy old guys said this or said that. Huh, I, if you remember that, we've done our job. Yeah. You know? And we like being... Um, Kind of the old Remember guy, the crazy old guys? Yeah, <laughs> kind of like that. Well, we are a little crazy, yeah. but you know, and, okay, if, uh, if loving God crazy, in Christ is, that, means I'm crazy, then I'm crazy. bring on the rubber room. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. And we again, too, I want to make just sure that I say thank you. Um, we were looking at some of the stats, the for yearly stats, year, the yearly yeah. stats uh, of our videos. And thank you all year. so much. For, for all of you who uh, watch for the average over the over the year this year uh man we we've had this is bragging that we have better stats than some of the uh local, the some local churches, churches yeah. have and, and for not, that, not you guys the, rock that's right we didn't do any of that you guys no helped. yeah you it you, you there. out there are the true heroes here yeah because and you guys out there are living in the trenches that's right and mm -hmm. we're so appreciative of absolutely you know that that is just again way it's a back beautiful when, thing oh yeah. absolutely way back when when we seems like way back when we started yeah, yeah, discussing this i wonder what would happen if we just got together and did this or that because you mm -hmm. were doing the videos for the, for, the, for the church, for the church yeah, that you yeah. go to, right? And, and then, yeah, and then well, about to go, so why don't we do why our don't own? We do our own, yeah, and, and just and add just, another one to the flock. And you know, thank you. I guys. opened up a new channel, yep, on uh, YouTube. So I have two. I have one for the church and one for us. And yep. they're both equivalent in Absolutely. views and, and and subscribers. And thank you. Yeah. Uh, we I can't throw thank a plug you. In, give them the name of your of the church. I go to everyone's, everyone's church. church. Yeah. yeah, and because it, it's not a church for one denomination or the other, or mm -hmm. everyone is welcome, everyone is loved, everyone yeah. is shown the dignity that we yeah. all deserve. Pastor it, Bryce is a is a great, uh, yeah. great Pastor Bryce, great, great Christian house. man. Yep. His message so, today was spot yeah. on. The, his message last week spot on. Oh. The guy's a strong, fantastic man of God. If you get a chance, you might you know go over and. Give him a give him a listen and yeah. let him know that uh, yeah. whether you like him or not, I'm sure he would appreciate that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's uh, um, the website is uh, www.everyoneschurchmv.com. Mv. See, and, even I forget that. Yeah, and you go to that website and you uh, you click on any of the tabs, the top and down the lower right corner, you'll see videos. Click on the videos mm -hmm. and. Um, you'll see some of me. I'm in those videos. I filmed 80% of them, um, mm -hmm. and I really had a blast doing it. As a matter of fact, sometimes we'll do a message, and Pastor Bryce will see our message, and he'll give him an idea, and he will expand Damn. on it and go so deep yes. that we never even thought of. Yes. And it's just it's well, his walk great. Is because he's, his walk is 
a little different than ours. Yes. He has a specific message given to him. Yes. By, uh, by God. That's yeah. different than ours yeah. because we're not him. Well, and to be and honest. He's not us. That's true. And to be honest with you guys, we've had several people ask us how long that we prepare and things like that. Oh, and you're going to be get honest, in trouble now. <laughs> We don't. Generally, we, don't we just let the Holy Spirit that is lead. Right. Uh, so we have the option. We play these back and post it, play it back. We don't like it. We just go, delete. It's gone. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, But I haven't deleted one yet. That's the no. nice thing about it. Well, and, you know, and, and the, the Apostle Paul wrote, and he told the other apostles that when you are in church and you're being persecuted and you're in front of the courts, you're being persecuted. Don't worry about what you're going to say, no, because the Holy Spirit will come through you and speak through you. Yeah. Uh, looks like we uh, Marysville police just drove yeah, by. Just so drove by. Wave checking to us, us out. Too, and he yeah. waved to us. Wave so. to us too. And the last uh, last video you saw of us when we said we had company, that ended up being um, somebody from the Department of Forestry. And he asked us what we were doing, and I yeah, said, well, yeah. we're making a video. And he goes, huh? Making a I said, yeah, we're talking about God. And as soon as I said that, his whole visage changed. Yep. He got nice, very, you know. The hand away from weapon. Yes. All of that. Yes. Just yeah. visited for a minute, was just a good day. And, yep, that's yeah. right. So, and it's amazing how God works in people's yeah. hearts and in their minds like that, that, you know, people of God usually aren't a threat. Well, we certainly Well, we are to the devil, are, of yes. course. Uh, but to, to each enemy, other, to we shouldn't be a threat. We should not be a threat. Well, Christ asked the apostles. Or the apostle, actually, I, I take it back. I'm sorry. The Pharisees asked Christ, What is the most important commandment? Hmm. One no, is, no, yeah, no, it was, um, love, you will, um, um, uh, love the Lord thy God, God with, with all, all your heart, heart all mind, your mind, and mind. all your strength. Yeah. And he said, that's the first of the Ten Commandments. That's right. And then the second one is love your neighbor like yourself. So, and if those two, if you're following those two, the rest fall right in line. Yep. Because if you love your neighbor, you're not going to covet what he's got because he'll lend it to you. Yep. You're definitely not going to covet his wife. You're not going to steal from him. You're definitely not going to kill him. It just comes together. Yeah, that's, that's why all. I have an ugly wife. No, <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. <clears throat> you know me. I don't have a wife. No. Uh, I'm the one that's I, I, And forgive me. I, I love my wife. Yes. Dearly. Oh, I love her dearly too, but just in a that <clears throat> plutonic way. Yes, yeah. just in his um, one of well, my favorite. Perry's, favorite people. Perry's like a father to us, a mentor. Um, you know, I Perry and I have known each other what twenty years now, somewhere Close? around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. long yeah. time. Long and when time. when we first started talking about God, it was always he would say something to me, and I'd like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dust me off. And then and then watching, I'm sure it's been mind blowing for you to watch how I've grown in the last 10 years or in the last year, last year and a year, half. Yeah, There's yeah. major leaps and bounds. And that's just for me submitting, yeah. submitting to God. Yeah. I found that when I read the Bible, I ask for the Lord to give me wisdom, wisdom and knowledge, and knowledge yeah. as I read so that I understand. Mm -hmm. And now I read the parables and I get them. Yeah. I get them. Yeah. We kind of got so. sidetracked there a little yeah, bit, but, that, we but, well, but that's okay. Uh, this is some of the things that we just, um, Looks like we're going to get some visitors. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe just driving on by. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to be stopping. He's just oh, waving. another one. <laughs> Whoa, man, are they coming after us? Um, yeah, looks like it. No, maybe no, not. They went around the corner. Okay, that's okay. We just witnessed to them too. Yeah, that's you know, right. We'll witness to everybody. They're not uh, any kind of a threat. To, we uh, are. We are part of what they say the cloud of witnesses. Yeah. But mm. to go back to where we started, kind of. Uh, you know, the idea of letting you guys just sit and see who we are like this uh, with to be real. Uh, to be yeah. real. Uh, we're not after your wallet. We're not after uh, any of those kinds of things. Because and you know the, the old we, saying, your love, it gives me such a thrill, but your love, it don't pay the bill. That, that's right. I'd rather have your love than your money. Than your money. Um, oh, absolutely. Because your love we, goes so much further. We just want you to feel uplifted. Take a little break from, to be able to take a little break from, from all craziness. this junk that's going on around, no matter how you look at it. Yeah. Uh, we're all under pressure and to have five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever these little videos run. Um, or in this case, just 15. 15. <laughs> but just 
it's an uplift. Take yeah. a break. Right. Uh, what was that old McDonald's thing? You deserve a break today That's at right. McDonald's. That's Just right. Just take a break from you the world You deserve a today. break today at God's house. house. That's it. So. so anyway, maybe we should kind of wind this up. Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, for yeah, those very, of you who celebrate yet. Yeah. Uh, Hanukkah, mm -hmm. um, and and I would like a couple videos ago we did talk about people reaching out, and I did want to say that this is a very lonely time of the yes, year for people, yes. and um, please reach out if you're lonely. Reach out if you know somebody that's lonely. Reach out. Reach out. We are the body of Christ. We are one. We are to be just individual cells in the bigger body, and we without one cell. We need everyone. We need us all. We need everyone to be healthy and yeah. reach out. Do but, the right thing. Yeah. It's, again, I think we mentioned it last yeah, week. We did. Was we did. the fact yeah. that suicide rates have gone up in the yeah. last uh, eight months mm -hmm. uh, tremendously amongst I children. I was just children. I yeah, did a fourteen-year-old kid uh, yeah, commit suicide. Uh, and did it on. There was one just recently here in the Seattle area. Did it on Zoom. Yeah, uh, right yeah. in school, There's right no in the reason class. For that. So, so if you know anybody that you think are having those kinds of difficulty, pray for wisdom. A, God will show, show you. you. He and, will tell you. And put an arm around them. Yes. Let them know that even even if it's a, a verbal hug, uh, uh, you know, the writing a card, a few nice kind words will go so, so far. far. Yeah. So again, um, yes. Uh, but the alcohol and drug rates have, have skyrocketed. Yeah. Uh, other diseases, uh, heart well, problems and cancer. People are dying cancer of cancer because they're, not, they're too they're, afraid to go to the hospital. Some, yeah, some Remember, time. your faith is a shield. And it's more than just a shield. Yeah. It's a barrier. Yeah. And don't stay away from the physical doctor. No. God uses those gentlemen and ladies hands and their minds that's right um, to protect us is to, yes because they are given gifts that yeah. keith and i are not given right we, we can pray for you and do we believe in healing absolutely, oh, absolutely. I've do seen we it. see do we see that off and on not yes, often but yes we have seen yeah. it yes. absolutely yeah. you know especially praying um healing of people's minds healing of people's hearts, hearts. i've seen i mean my heart used to be stone it used to be stone, and God transformed my heart yeah. to flesh. And if he can do it in somebody that was as horrible as me, he can do it in you. Yeah. That Absolutely. goes for both Keith and I. If he can, he can patch us up with a couple more than Band-Aids, give us a Amen, whole brother. new inside, That's right. he, can, he can do it for you, yeah. and will do it for you. All you got to do is ask. It's, it's, not that he, he, it's not that he will. He wants to. He wants to. He, but when he, you ask... You, he'll, you, take, he'll take action. That's so he's right. not going to take right. action until you ask. Him. Right. He's that's like the right. bailiff in the corner, sitting there waiting for the yeah. order, order, order or the question from the judge. Heal them, yep. please. So yep. we're going to close this this uh, this video with a prayer today. Yep. And I just want everybody to know that we love you and, and we pray that you have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. The best Christmas Christmas ever. ever. Yeah. And again, for whatever, however, I should say, you celebrate the holidays. We wish that for the all of you. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> a, joy. a joy. Just joy. The, may, may the peace of the Lord uh, be upon you, you. And may his joy fill your heart, overflowing, shaken together, yeah. pressed yeah. down. Yeah. Give your love, and it will be given unto you. Yep. And that's it's that easy. Okay. So. So we're out of it. We are out of it. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. <laughs> Father, we humbly come in your presence to give you all the thanks. Oh, absolutely. Lord, you are, you are mightily awesome in this place. In every place that we go, Lord, we know you're with us. And we just praise you for that. We worship you, Lord. And we pray for those watching this right Amen. now, Lord. We pray that you just instill upon them your peace. Give yeah. them that peace that transcends all understanding, Lord. Give them the joy where they find none. Give them laughter. Right. For, exactly. for Lord, your laughter is the best medicine. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, we pray this for everybody in the world, Lord. We pray for our nations. We pray for the people. We pray for our leaders, Lord. Give us your joy, your peace, your understanding, your knowledge, and your wisdom so that we may understand your word better. And in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Very important. Okay, guys. <clears throat>
Thanks again. Thanks again. And the next time, hopefully, we'll see see you in church. church.